All right, so we're here today to talk about getting up the stairs efficiently and safely. Tell us what you think, Pete. I think it's so uh, awful walking up the steps one at a time, really slowly. And I see people struggling to go up steps. Such a pain. It's a chore and it's a hassle, but it's something we live with and something we do subconsciously. But you've obviously reinvented the concept for yourself. I just love running up those steps. Nice and quick, uh, lots of fun, and yeah, great, great piece of exercise. So you've turned something that everyone resents into less of a chore and something fun and exciting, almost like a game for yourself? Is there something childish about what you've done in terms of turning the running up the stairs into something you enjoy? Oh, maybe running up the escalators at all our Parliament stations. There we wonderfully go. long escalator. <laughs> So there's a safe way and an unsafe way to do it. We did a little demonstration on your front steps on how to do it safely and how to do it not so safely. What's your experience in this whole galvanting up the stairs faster than normal thing? My experience, it's really great. If I do trip, it's not a problem. However, oftentimes somebody says, don't run up the steps, you might fall. And I find that a real downer, I hate that. Someone of an authority background telling you how to manage yourselves up the stairs. Did it feel insulting or patronising or could you see reason to their instruction? I just get so uh, pissed off. I get so, so upset because like, uh, you know, I, I enjoy running up the steps. It's nice and quick and for me it's quite safe. And I'm not in any danger to any other person. I don't run up the steps. So in too close a proximity to somebody who, uh, let's say, is very vulnerable. There you go. Something as simple as moving up and down the stairs made more fun. Absolutely. Well done. There's never too uh, simple a task to make something even more fun out of, I guess. Well and done. safe. And safe. Do it safely. Nice work. Good advice. As long as you know how to fall. <laughs> well, practice makes perfect. Maybe they should learn these things at a young age. What age were you when you first... Uh... Well, I was definitely in primary school when I decided I was sick of going up and down the stairs at a regular pace and I wanted to take two at a time and I never looked back. So that was about 30 years ago. <laughs> okay, it's a bit of an off head. So what happens about falling? Well, I guess it's important to always keep your mind on the task at hand. And if that is going up the stairs, then you concentrate on every step. Otherwise, you wind up another statistic. <laughs> well, having said that, however, um, it is possible to recover from a fall or to minimise the damage from a fall. That takes a little bit of skill. It's true, but Confucius say prevention is the best cure. <laughs> oh, cool. Well, thanks for the tips and the hints. I like it. Thank you. There you have it.